For 50 years, CSIRO has been engaged in research into organic chemistry. It's established a wealth of experience and a range of facilities unique in Australia. CSIRO's Division of Applied Organic Chemistry encourages Australian industry to share and capitalise on these resources. It's committed to working with Australian industry to design, synthesise and test organic compounds and to improve the processes involved in their manufacture. The range of industries whose operations include the manufacture or use of organic compounds is enormous. Some are involved in the production of plastics, rubber or paint, or products composed of polymers. Some manufacture high-value chemicals such as pharmaceuticals or crop protection chemicals. Others formulate specialty chemicals such as detergents, disinfectants, insecticides, fungicides and so on. The resources of CSIRO Applied Organic Chemistry are of potential benefit to all these companies. Well, we've seen a worldwide need for new disinfectants as organisms in hospitals have become more resistant due to the uh, widespread use of antibiotics. And hospital administrators and their patients today need a new, persistent, safe and pleasant to use disinfectant with a broad spectrum of activity uh, to deal with the problems which are emerging in their hospitals today. Disinfectants are manufactured internationally by Gibson Chemicals as part of a comprehensive range of specialty chemicals. Research and development is an important part of the operations at Gibson Chemicals. However, the search for a novel disinfectant demanded highly specialised facilities. We approached uh, CSIRO because we found out they were doing work relevant to the areas that interested us. And of course, they have magnificent research facilities which really can't be matched by uh, a company of our size. And so, to us, they're an absolutely ideal partner to work with to develop these new sophisticated chemical substances. They also have experienced staff in, uh, in computer modelling of molecules, which is pretty advanced uh, science, the sort of science you only find in high-tech research institutes, uh, and the sort of science which is rarely found in, uh, in, in industry. And uh, it's that uh, uh, facility which makes CSIRO such a desirable partner. In designing and synthesising new organic compounds, CSIRO draws on the specialist knowledge and techniques which it has built up over the last half century. Computer simulation is used to design the compounds and the chemical routes for synthesising them. For a compound to be of commercial value, an economic route for synthesis must be found. CSIRO has complete facilities for scaling up the process from micro laboratory level to large laboratory scale for commercial process development. Sophisticated analytical techniques are an essential part of this scaling up procedure. CSIRO has a wide range of up-to-date equipment for this purpose. These particular facilities are one of the reasons why the resources of CSIRO Applied Organic Chemistry are useful for smaller companies as well as large. Before we started, we saw the CSIRO as being a very uh, large research organisation that uh, would only be interested and would only be able to work on uh, long-term and expensive projects. We found that this is not the case. They can accommodate uh, small projects and uh, small companies without an unlimited amount of uh, research and development finance available. Southern Dental Industries manufacture and market an advanced range of products for the dental profession.
When it came to adding a dentine adhesive to their product range, they decided they wanted one that was significantly better than any other in the world. CSIRO's background in polymer research was directly relevant. Potential adhesives are being designed, synthesized and evaluated under a tripartite agreement involving Southern Dental Industries, CSIRO and the Australian Dental Standards Laboratory. Southern Dental Industries' uh, involvement in this project has been uh, in the way of funding and also to supply a research chemist who's been dividing her time between the ADSL laboratories and the CSIRO laboratories. And during the 12 months that we've been involved in this project, we have achieved a uh, dentine adhesive, which will be most competitive on international markets, and we will be marketing that product in the very near future. Through its own long-term research programs, CSIRO has accumulated a vast store of information and understanding in the field of organic chemistry. Its special value lies in its ability to apply this warehouse of knowledge to specific projects initiated by industry. The vapour cure process is a low temperature process for curing paint, films and other surface coatings using an airborne catalyst. Albright and Wilson uh, has an interest in this area in that we are manufacturers of acrylic resins and uh, we are trying to develop superior performance uh, resins uh, for this uh, novel process. CSIRO um, has been uh, most useful to us uh, in this collaboration uh, because of their uh, acrylic uh, polymer technology and research carried on at the Division of Applied Organic Chemistry. Albright and Wilson manufacture acrylic polymers for a wide range of surface coating and bonding applications, as well as surface active agents and phosphate chemicals. As well as the work uh, that's being carried out at CSIRO, we have been allocating our own R&D resources to this project, that is uh, our um, laboratory facilities and uh, personnel. Uh, but in addition, we have found it very useful to be able to second our research staff to work with the uh, research group at CSIRO. The joint research um, has already enabled us to capitalize on some of our own uh, previous research and uh, we are quite uh, confident of having some successful uh, resins commercialized in the near future. Uh, this is one of the real advantages of the collaboration is uh, giving us innovative new ways of, of looking at our research. Joint projects can be shaped to suit the individual needs of each client company. In some cases, considerable R&D resources can be contributed by the client company itself. In other cases, a client's own R&D resources don't include the sort of in-depth skills required for a particular project. Sometimes a company has the resources but has already allocated them to other projects. CSIRO's contribution may be as simple as preparing known organic compounds for subsequent use in the client company's own research. Whatever the project, confidentiality is naturally of paramount importance. CSIRO is keen to provide its resources to enable Australian industry to gain and maintain a competitive edge in international markets. Many companies have already established joint projects. There are thousands of others which would profit from collaboration.